It is 16 after the hour. If you want to get Rosie O'Donnell started, just mention one word, Broadway. This Sunday night, Rosie gets to play Broadway Booster to the max as she hosts the Tony Awards. Rosie and I talked recently about Broadway and lots of other stuff, too. So what is it about Broadway that gets you just so jazzed? You know, I think it's the reason I'm a performer today, because when I was a kid, I'd watch TV and I'd think, oh, I want to be on the Partridge family or I want to be one of the Brady Bunch. But I never knew how you got to the place where they made those shows. So when I was in fifth or sixth grade, I went to see uh, Bette Midler, Clams on a Half Shell on Broadway, and I thought, I want to do that. And this is where you go to do it. And that lady is doing what I want to do. And I know now this is what I'm going to do with my life. And before that, it was all sort of an illusion, Hollywood. And I didn't understand where you went to do what it is that I wanted to do. So it really gave it uh, a tangible reality for me, my dream of being a entertainer. There are a couple of musicals that really impressed Rosie this year, including Ragtime, which scored the most Tony nominations. Well, Ragtime, I think, is an uh, epic, classic American musical. It's, uh, I think it's going to be one of the greats of all time in the category of, like, West Side Story, Oklahoma. Uh -huh. It's a fabulous musical, 13 nominations, I believe, and The Lion King is right up there with it. I think those two are the ones everyone's... Uh, Should I fan you when, I, when you say Lion King? You know, it's the most astounding experience I've ever had in the theater. <laughs> expected the spectacular presentation that they came up with and I was crying opening number and I cried all the way through it and I couldn't believe it it was the kind of thing where I couldn't believe that I just saw what I saw so I came back the next day with my son and he sat on my lap two years old uh, at intermission I said to him honey do you want to go home now are you tired because you know he doesn't make it through the whole show sometimes he said no mommy this is a big show and I thought <laughs> if that isn't the best recommendation I've ever heard but uh, it is, it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I think the two of them are going to fight it out for all the uh, major awards. Let's go back into the, the days of yesteryear. You were homecoming queen, yes. prom queen, yes. and class president? Yes. How did you pull all of that? That's the trifecta I right there. No, it was, you know, I enjoyed high school. Yeah. I didn't really have a big, uh, strong parental structure at home. My mom had died. My dad was fairly absentee. And um, I looked to the teachers for parenting. And I got it. And I think the teachers are so undervalued in our society. And they can save kids. They can point them in the right direction. And they can inspire them to be the best they can be. And that's what happened to me. I definitely think I could have went down the wrong road. I could have become uh, very troubled and, and very self-destructive. And I was encouraged on a daily basis by many, many teachers to perform and to be my best. And uh, I was encouraged to shine. And so I, I excelled in school. One thing I liked, we talked about the last time, I'm a dad, you're a mom, we're new at all this, and you have all these books that say this is the way to do it. Right. And when it doesn't turn out the way that the books say, it tears us up. Yeah. Does it, it tears you up? Well, you know, I have a lot of those parent sort of neuroses that every other parent has. Like my son just turned three, he just got off the bottle. See, Maya's still on the bottle and she just turned three. Well, did you have the little rule of when you're three, no bottle? Well, we started that, and then who told me? One of the moms on the show said, don't do that rule, because they're little and they don't know. You know. But he followed your rule? Well, for the, about three months, I was saying to him, when yeah. you're three, what happens? He says, no more bottles. Because yeah. he was off the bottle totally, and then Chelsea arrived. Uh, and then he went back on it. So um, he, when I, I said, when you're three, no more bottles. So on his birthday, he was three and he had the party and everything was fine. Then going to bed that night, he says, I want a bottle. Yeah. And I said, you know what, honey, you're three now. We have a sippy cup and mommy's going to read you the book. And he goes, I don't want to be three. Yeah. I want to be Parker. <laughs> it was so heartbreaking. But did you give him a bottle? I did not. Oh, because you know what? I feel like all of that. I'm at the park and other mothers are like, he's still in the bottle? Don't, like, don't listen to other mothers. Don't do it like I that. Know. You know? I know. It's stress inducing, but he's not trained yet. He's, he's three, yeah. and I'm not sweating that as much as. Uh, well, the girls, Maya is easy. Yeah. The girls are easier than the guys. Yeah. You know, she picked it up. Party! And off we go running. You really? Know? Yeah. He's totally disinterested. I mean, he'll sit with a, a load in his diaper for a good two, three hours. That's right. And uh, not, you know, I'll be like, Parker, do you have stinky poops? He's like, nope. Nope. No poops in there. <laughs> One thing, you can always count on Rosie to speak her mind, whether it's about toilet training or trash TV. Um, you talked about Jerry Springer in, uh, this weekend in a lot of the papers about the fact that you say it's not a show for kids. A, why do you say that? And B, why did you come out and say that? 
Well, you know, people ask me all the time, what do you think about Jerry Springer and his ratings? You know, and I met him and I think he's a nice guy. But I do think that he uh, is responsible for what he puts out on the air because it's his show and he decides what he does. If, you know, they said to me, Rosie, we're, we're going to have Marty Short come out and I want you to punch him in the head. And then we're going to have him hit flowers. Over. You know, you're the host. You'd say I'm not doing it. Right. So the problem I have with it is that if it's going to be on the air, I think it should be on the air at night when children don't have access to it. Because if you're a kid and you're sitting at home and you watch a show where people who look like mommy and daddy come out and solve problems through violence and then they are not reprimanded for that behavior, they are in fact cheered. There is no retribution or there is no punishment for having totally antisocial, violent behavior. And I think children watching that get that message. Mm, good point. Mm -hmm. Strong point. Homecoming queen, prom queen, class president, the early years. And of queen Rosie. of nice now. And queen of nice. Rosie O'Donnell hosts Broadway's Tony Awards live Sunday night at 9 o'clock Eastern time, 8 central. Where else? But right here on CBS. She takes a lot of the credit for bringing it all mm -hmm. back, too, doesn't mm -hmm. she?